Hey, this is Emmanuel, and today I want to talk about making intercultural marriages work. All right, there are lots of people that tell me all the time, you know, well, we're just from a different place, she's from a different culture, I'm from a different culture, we just don't see eye to eye, we have different family structures, you know. Guess what? I'm from Nigeria, my wife is from Colombia, okay? And we see eye to eye all the time, so don't tell me that intercultural marriages don't work. They do work. Here's the issue that you're really having. The problem is you're trying to get your way, right? And you're not willing to be able to compromise. But here's the other issue that you're having. You think you can actually make marriage work on your own. Guess what? People are from different places. And because they're from different places, they can what seem to be what is this disconnect all the time. But it doesn't have to be so, all right? It doesn't have to be so. Because once you involve the Holy Spirit, guess what? The Holy Spirit is going to be talking to your wife and is going to be talking to you about the same things. This is how you can mesh together. Because God is not the one going to be telling you one thing and then telling your wife something else. No, there's the mind of Christ that we're supposed to have. And as we have that mind of Christ, you start to find out that both of your thinking starts to mesh together. All right. So if you keep it godly, everything's going to be smooth sailing. But if you decide that you know better and you're trying to impose one culture over the other, then you're going to find out that you have major issues. Now, a lot of people say this as well, right? They're like, well, you know, in fact, there's a book about this, right? That goes, well, you know, men are from Mars, you know, women are from Venus or whatever else like that. Uh, look, look, nice side of her book is Elle's book, but that is absolutely hogwash, all right? Bible c- clearly tells us. The Bible tells us. You know, what does the Bible tell us? Hey, you know, when God took a rip from the man and from it, he formed woman. So where did the woman come from? She came from your side, man. All right. Why did he do that? Because both of your flesh of the same flesh, your strength of the same, your strength of the same strength. All right. That's what it is. Flesh of the flesh, bone of your bone. You're more alike than you are different. Regardless of the culture, regardless of all that, you're more alike. Now, here's the thing. Don't let the devil start to tell you that you guys are so different, you have irreconcilable differences. Irreconcilable differences only occur when you've decided to take Christ out of the equation and you're trying to do it yourself, all right? So here's what you need to do, all right? Here's your homework. You need to get together and you need to start renewing your mind together as a couple, doing some, you know what? Praying and reading of the word of God together so that you renew your mind together, taking that journey together and aligning your mind to the mind of the Holy Spirit, which he's going to give you, which is the mind of Christ. All right. Once you have this mind, you will start to find out that all this other stuff that you think really matters, that's been causing pain and division, all of a sudden doesn't because you're not trying to fit into a culture, you're not trying to get somebody to move to your side and you're not having that tug of war. But this time, you're actually going towards God. If you do this, it's all going to be peachy king, and you'll find out that your marriage is so much better for it. Hey, thank you so much, and we'll see you next time.